Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999. And today we are on the green server on the 60 Necromancer Warlock. Um, he is almost two bubbles in to 60. I'd really like to have that full, but it is what it is. Um, hey, y'all want the Necro? Here's the Necro. Uh, reason I'm playing him right now, we are in City of Mist. And um, I just got one of my components, one of my quest items for my Shaman's Canny 2 quest in here. And I want to show y'all where I got it. And while we're doing that, we'll explore the front area of City of Mist. And maybe we'll come back later and do like the second level, third, whatever. But for now, this will just be like the entry area, the beginning, the moat, the stables, um, I forget, the arena. I don't know all the names. I've never been here before, except for a couple times now, just recently. Can you believe it? Um, back in the day, when I had, was on my 60 Warrior Troll, I spent a lot of time in, like, Dreadlands and Karnor's Castle and, like, Guk and, like, Kazakh Thul and stuff like that. Old World. And if I was in Kunark, I was in, like, Dreadlands or, or KC for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but let's get going here. I got my pet up. Right there, jab and tick. And let's uh, give him one of these augment deaths. Make some, I think, strength and a little bit of haste, maybe. And we'll demi lich, which is the very high level lich. Um, of course, the uh, specter illusion looks way cooler, but this thing is way better. So on my spell bar, I have paralyzing earth, vexing Mordania, pyrocor, splurt, dooming darkness. Augment Death, Demi Lich, and Feign Death. Gotta have that Feign Death on, you know? Just in case. Vexing Mordania, almost a must as well, especially when you're using this illusion, this Lich, um, because it ticks down your health so hard. We have some people right here, okay. So normally there will be like a Golem standing right here. That'll be the first enemy you will encounter. Uh, pretty low level though. Uh, my Shaman could probably take it out. But let's head to where I got the uh, strange ochre clay for my shaman. Uh, and on along the way, we'll look at, uh, we'll explore a little bit. So here's the little front first bridge thing. And two undead spawn up here. We can get to that area in a second. And then two spawn over here, as you can see. Um, I don't know if these people are camping or whatnot, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we got our pet. We got our lich. We better go get in here so we can uh, not lich to death. I could, of course, turn it off when I get full mana, though. Um, I'm going to guess that they might be killing these undead up here. But, yeah, you go up these little stairs. There's two undead. And that's all that's up there. And then there's the same thing on the other side. If you look over here, we have... There'll be two undead up here, too. We can go up here and just look down. There's the bridge. There's the people. There's the other side with the other undead. Looks like they just pulled them. And good thing I did not attack those because that's their camp, I guess. I try to be nice with that. Uh, here's a camp that um, some people do. I'm pretty sure it's a nice safe area. If you go over here and you take a seat right here or so, your group can like sit here. Nothing spawns here. You can pull from, from up there, from inside there, from like right there, and then you can go that way too. Um, this building doesn't really uh, go anywhere. It's just the building. I forget what it's called, but uh, what's it called? I don't know, but... Um, uh, there's a name for it, but um, it's the temple or something. It's just uh, there's mobs in there. It doesn't really go anywhere, but uh, there's quite a few in there that you can grab. Like as you can see up there, there's an undead up there, and my lich. Uh, so I'm gonna grab this guy. Um, let's just hit him with the dooming darkness, this vapor golem, so I can uh, get some HP coming in. We'll uh, vexing Mordania. And we'll send the pet on him. Hopefully he will take care of that. Get the aggro. There we go. He's got the aggro. And I can probably just sit and watch him win. Um, there's a... Uh, you know you know how like the frogs and guck have different names. And like whatever the name is means how strong they are. I'm not sure how that works in here. But it's definitely a thing. Like there's vapor golems. Uh... What's this one up here? I can't click on it. Cause I'm... But anyway, there's like different strengths of, of golems and, and specters and 
undead and whatnot. I'm not an expert on this place. This is me. It's my first time. I got experience from that. Pretty much my first time. I, I looked around the entrance with my shaman, and then I came in here with my necro and went and got the strange ochre clay. I just need to have one of my buddies trade it to me and, uh, from my necro to my shaman. But uh, this area, nice little area. You can group right here. And you can pretty much have two groups at the you could probably do an entrance group, I'm sure. And then there's one. You could sit here and have a group and pull from there. And then um, there's the stables group, I'm pretty sure, which would be on the other side. So the other side would be over here. These people are probably wondering what I'm doing. But over here, this is stables. A lot of people will stand right here and like pull from the stables both ways. Um, then we have these golems in here that either group can grab. There's like three of them or something. Uh, let's go to the stable since he's right there. All right, so I think they sit like right here. This is their their camp. And is there anything in here? There's a spectral something. Spectral courier. I wonder what he drops. Got a student's log and an illegible scroll. I need to find something to attack. Maybe I'll just click off my lich so we don't have to do that again. We can just look around. All right, so this is the stables. The other side, I forget what it's called. Maybe the temple. Let's see if there's anything up in here. Let's tell my pet to guard so he doesn't... Oh, the door opened. Uh, looks like people are over here because stuff is dead. Oh, wow. They're... He's probably just going around. Chuck Zilla Norris. But there's some enemies. This is another little self-contained area. It doesn't really lead anywhere. It's just a camp. Um, I'm sure they pull from this side, too. You can see the dead body. If we open the door. Another dead body. He's going around just doing the stables by himself, it looks like. You just open the doors. There's an enemy, a greater spur bone. Another one, a plague bone. So, just a little self-contained areas that don't lead anywhere, really. They're just camps. So that's the stables. I'll tell my pet to follow. The other side is the temple or something, if I'm saying it wrong. No big deal. Um, and how do you get further in? I think it's this way. See the doorway over there? So we might have to fight our way. Maybe. Let's just go this way. This way. I don't know if I can make it past that haze golem. Mm. We've got three of them right there, too. That could be a disaster waiting to happen for me. Uh, maybe somebody will pull. But this is the way you got to go. There's another thing you can do. Let me show you before we leave. Because it's kind of a cool trick I saw in somebody else's video. You go over here to this area. And you go up all the way up there, and you can kind of jump over. You see where this up here? You can see that? You can kind of, like, jump from, like, this to here, I think. From here to here. And get to the second level, like, faster. Um, looks like nobody's over here. We could uh, try to go show that. I'm not trying to make this video super long, but if nobody's over here, we might be able to show some of it. I just don't want to get, like, 50 things at once and lose my neck road. Alright, I've got this guy coming. Alright, I'll have my pet attack it. I'll turn on Lich. And we will Vexing Mordania, because just always do that when you're Liching. Pet's probably going to beat the crap out of it. And I can just sit back and watch. Pretty much. I got it snared. It's dotted. My pet is ripping it a new one. Um, let's see if I can get you a better view, maybe. Probably be hard to do. Kinda. Anyway. Let's go back to this one. Alright, so that is that guy. Ludin. Alright, let's get the other one, maybe. We could probably go up here. Oh, there's another one up here. We got this haze golem, so I don't know, is the haze golem harder than the vapor golem? I'm not sure. And that's a fog golem, so we got three different types. So let's grab this haze golem. 
And I'm going to pull him back to the safe spot, because I've never been here before. Whoops, dummy. I moved. Uh, I've only even seen this part. What are you doing? Come on. I haven't played the Necro in a while either, so forgive me if I'm not as good as I used to be. I right, Dooming Darkness. I don't feel the need to do like a high level snare usually. I think Dooming Darkness is fine. Let's get the pet on it. Always vexing Mordania. Then I'll try to get y'all a better view of the uh, Spectre kicking butt. And since I got full mana, might as well augment death. I know it probably lasts like. I think it lasts almost a good 10 minutes, right? At least. Can't remember. But there he goes. And now I could sit and get all my mana back. I could probably just run around and get it all back, actually. Haze Golem did not give me experience. Let's see if the Fog Golem does. Then we'll know, like, which ones. So Haze did not. Vapor, I don't think, did not. So Haze and Vapor did not. I bet you those are the low levels. Maybe the Fog is the high level. Ooh, I got a Parry Dot. I need those. That's one of my spell components. Uh, we'll have our pet attack. Maybe? Did I click off? Yeah, I did. Alright. Attack. This is green. Vexing Mordania. Pet has his uh, augment death on. I'll try to get you guys a better view. I think you can fall right here somewhere, too. Like, you gotta be careful. You can't just uh, be crazy with it. Let's see. That's kind of good. You kind of see what he's doing there, can't you? Let's put this, like, over here. Good old Spectre. Am I sitting? I should be. Gaining eight mana back. Lich is really awesome. Like, I definitely prefer it over Canny and Clarity. I think Lich is the best mana regen spell in the game. Look, experience. So Fall Golems are higher level than Haze and uh, Vapor. Hopefully, I don't think anybody is claiming this camp at the moment, so no big deal. All right. Um. So we cleared out this top area. We can go look at it now. Just a little tapestry there. Here's the water, so I think you can fall somewhere. Like, into the water, and then it's, like, annoying. Like, if you're the tank or something and you fall in this water, it's just annoying for, like, a second. You have to get out and stuff, so it can screw you up a little bit. Not too major, though. Um, we go up here. I don't think there's... But anyway, you jump off of, like, this and go to that. Like, I think you can get to the second level without a key. I'm thinking there's a key... I think you need a key to, uh... Here we got a Vapor again. I might even be able to fight it right here, but... We'll bring it down and play it safe. Some people group, like, on this side. I think it's safer to, uh... A mob spawns right here, so it's safer to group on the other side where a mob does not spawn. Um... Let's get the pet on it. We'll go check out the, uh... The, the moat in the, uh... Arena, I think it's called... Here in a second, I was just trying to show y'all this area where I see most people. Like, if you're coming in here, you're probably either doing the stables or this side. There's two sides. One side's the stable, one side's this side. I guess some people do the ent entrance too, maybe. Not sure. kick back, let my pet do the work. One of these days I'll come in here and charm undead. I'm just not a very good... I'm not a charming necro yet. I need to practice it, so... This would probably be a good place to practice it, though. But for my first time, I'm going to use my pet. I'm going to do it how I know how to do it. Um, so we have a door here, right there. And then we have... a door right here. So I'll tell my pet to sit like he's part of my group over here, and I'll go pool for him. I could probably lol undead, I bet you. I bet you I can. I'll go peek in there and see what's up, and then uh, maybe I'll put one of those spells on. I can, like, mez or lol undead. I was doing that in lower guck. But you walk in, there's nothing immediately, but there's three down here. 
And I do have two undead. I could pull that Vapor Golem, maybe. Alright, let's see. What is it called? Uh, Not Exile. <clears throat> exile is a damage spell. Thrall of Bones. I don't think it's called that. That might be the charm. And I don't want a charm. Cajole. I'll know it when I see it, because I used it in Guck. Beguile. Um, sorry. Was that it back there? Rest? Might be Rest the Dead. Let's try that. Um, I'll just take off my pet buff for now. All right, let's see if this works. We got a greater spur bone. We got a greater plague bone. And we got the vapor golem. Who's not the high level one, so. Is the vapor golem, is that an undead? I bet, I don't think it is. So we'll try the greater spur bone. All right, he looks ambivalent. Because I've pulled these before, and they definitely come together. Greater Plague Bone looks ambivalent, and then we can do our Dooming Darkness on the Vapor Golem. Open the door. Maybe. Come on. Hopefully I didn't get them all. I didn't even look. Somehow I'm targeting myself, but hey, look at that. I got one. That's nice. Get the pet on it. Thing Vexing Mordania. Might have to run away a little bit. Nope. Cool. Pet got his attention. Take a seat. And he's beating up the Vapor Golem. So I can pull this pretty easily with uh, Rest of the Dead. I tried with, I think it was my Shaman. Or no, it was my Necro because all three of those came. I had like 30% HP because I litched down on accident too far. And I was just looking around with Invis vs. Undead and great and uh, Gather Shadows. Because you need both in here, like... It's not all undead, and it's not all the other kind. So if you're going to, like, look around, I think you need both. Pretty sure those aren't undead. If they are, it is what it is. I still did a good pull there. Um, let's tell my pet to sit. He's missing a little bit of HP. Let's go back in here. Let's rest again. Let's uh, rest this guy and pull the other one. So we'll rest this again. Might even still be rested, but why well, take the chance? Looks ambivalent. Greater plate or greater spur bone. Let's hit him with the dooming darkness. Door still open. Perfect. And here he comes. Let my pet attack it once it gets a little bit further away from those stairs. There we go. Hopefully he gets his attention. Okay, good. Evexing Mordania, just to keep our HP up. Greater Spurbone going down pretty easily. And I could definitely use other spells for sure here. Uh, I will one day. I'll charm in here one day. But you're seeing me pull in here. I'm treating this like a little group. Me and my pet. I'm the pooler. He's the tank. And I'm going in here and pulling stuff. But once we uh, look at everything in this area, we will um, move on. Uh, let's see. I just want to Dooming Darkness, dummy. Come on. I could even bring my pet in here. But I like him, I like him where he is. I don't mind having a long pull. All right, should be coming. There it is. Send my pet at it. I'll try to get the name of this camp for y'all and put it in the uh, pinned comment. All right, we get the Greater Plague Bone. Green. This isn't like, hey, second level on top of the arena, bind up there and go do the walkway. Not yet. We'll do that one day, though, I promise. We're just getting into it. I'm getting the lay of the land, figuring this zone out. I've never been here before. But I did get a little bit of experience so far. Got a little bit outside of here in Emerald Jungle. Like, I killed a raptor, and it gave me experience. And then in here, we killed that, uh, was it the fog golem? 
So, so far, so good. If you guys like this video, I mean, if it gets more views, I might do some more Necro stuff. So make sure you uh, tell your guild and share it on your Discord or whatever. Merchant's Letter. I don't know. Fine. I'll take it. Sure. Sure. Whatever. Fine. All right. Let's let him let, have him sit. I'm gonna. I might try the jump just to see if I can make the jump. I'll show you the shortcut. All right. What's in here? I'm gonna open it, but barely get close enough because I don't know what's in there. All right. We got a got an apparition. He's green. Let's rest him. So I can see what else is in here. Another one. How many, though? There's a wraith. It's the wraith. Ooh, he's blue. Alright, let's grab him. Hopefully I got enough time here. But there's two in here, just beware. I got a blue. I wonder if our uh, dude's up yet. Kind of pay attention looking for this guy, you know, to spawn. Then we have our other guys up top. All right, get him, pet. He's blue. Cool. All right, let's do our Vexing Mordania. I might throw a little bit more dots at this one. Vexing Mordania. Let's do Splurt now. I should have did Splurt first, really. It's a long-lasting. Uh, we already did Dooming Darkness. Um, I could probably just sit. A wraith. See how it's blue? Blue at 60. So those must be uh, one of the higher level apparition types. Spectre types. He's beating on my pet a little bit. Sometimes I'll put like a pet heal up or shadow bond or whatever it's called. He's casting something. Or is that my pet? I think it's my pet doing his life tap. Spectre pet's awesome, man. Life tap. Giant scythe. Grim Reaper. He's kind of whooping on him, though. Almost down to half health. Let's go. Alright, gained experience. Bang. Alright, you need to sit and recover. And we'll loot the Wraith. And I'm going to go grab the other one. Because why not? We already cleared... We already cleared the room or whatever. Broke the, broke the spawns. Broke the camp. Broke the camp. That's what you say. We already broke the camp. That's the words. All right, Dooming Darkness, that one. See if I can make it out the door. Oh, yeah. Pet sitting. Pet gaining back HP. He shouldn't have too much trouble with this one anyway. All right, go get it, buddy. I will Vexing Mordania. Just keep that HP and mana flowing. Got it. I probably don't need to do much else. I think he can handle it. Anyone have some necro spells to trade for other class spells? No. Pet is getting beat up a little bit. I might have to uh, break out a heal. It's kind of like, you know, I'd rather almost just have him sit there and bust out a heal. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll bust one out for him. Um... The pet heals are so crappy, though. You almost just want to do, like, a bond spell. Shadow bond. Convergence. Uh, sit down, dude. Got experience again. That one was green, though. So that'll tell you something. Um, the first one was... The wraith was higher level. And then that one, the apparition, maybe is one step down. Uh, where's my pet heal? Renew bones, I think. It's pretty crap. It's pretty crap. But I'm just trying to get to the, uh... I don't know. I was going to show you all that shortcut if I can. See how much it heals for. It doesn't take very much mana. I guess I could just do it over and over. While he's sitting... Cooldown's kind of crap, though. It'd be nice if you could spam it. See how crappy that is? Let's get him to, like, 75%, maybe. I'm not gonna do this for too long. 
Let's do like two more. And then he can sit while we're pulling. He'll be fine. Alright, let's do one more. Loot the apparition while we wait. New bones. What? I did. Aw, oh, duh. Alright, one more, one more, one more. Alright, you should be good now. Let's get rest of the dead back out. There it is. Boom. Alright, let's go check out what's going on. Alright, so, we have another room there. It's probably exactly like this room. I'm not going to show you. It's the exact same thing. I think the way upstairs is this way. And here we go. I should probably be careful. I think there's multiples up here. Oh, yeah. A phantom. He's ambivalent. What else do we got? A phantom. Arrested both of them, just to look around. Alright, so this guy was done second, or first, so let's get him. We'll kill these two, then we'll try the uh, shortcut. I don't know if I, I don't know if that's actually. I don't know if that's how it works actually. I'm gonna look at it though. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. That's where the shortcut is. I hope you don't get like a million things. Luckily, we cleared out a lot. Should be all right. Where'd he go? Should I put my finger on the feign death trigger? Oh, he came out that door. Looks okay. Our golem's not back yet, by the way. Get the phantom. Don't you dare touch me. I really need this Vexing Mordania. Let the lich kind of run off, run for too long. Alright, I'm going to sit my butt down. Phantom is green. Hopefully I can gain all my HP back. Sometimes I'll put a life tap on as well. Depends. Probably usually in like a harder zone. I'm fighting greens. I don't feel the need. Phantom. I might even do two vexings if uh, he's still up when it wears off. Nah, I'm going to be alright. I'm almost going to get full HP. All right, come on, pet. Get it. I should probably put a DD on just to finish him off. Would be fun to come in here and charm, though. Definitely going to do that. Uh, my Lich wore off. That's fine, though. We don't need it right now. All right, experience once again. Phantoms. All right, tell the pet to sit. And we'll go pull the other one. I don't think I can get it from here. But we can go this way. Hey, there's our golem. It's like if you fall in that water, it's annoying. I got a fog golem. So in here, in here, up here. And we'll do this on my terms. I'll probably rest it and then uh then pull it. Alright, we have I can't get it. E. Alright, let's rest it so I can uh pull it from where I want to pull it from. Even though it's still going to come down these dumb stairs, like, I might as well run down the stairs. I didn't even check if it was ambivalent. It's fine. It is. Dooming Darkness. Alright, we'll just jump down. And wait for it to come. I guess I can lich. I could pretty much just sit. And he's going to come out of this door over here. We got our buddy the fog, fog Golem back. What I say was the higher one? Fog? It's Vapor, Haze, and Fog is the higher one, huh? Got a Phantom. It's green. I'm going to let him get over on our side before I attack. There we go. Pretty much. Alright, I'm going to Vexing Mordania to keep that HP up. I might throw two at him. Kind of beat my pet up a little bit. I'll throw the splurt too. 
Should do that in reverse order. I just, oh wow, okay, can't see him. All right, that'll help our pet not lose too much health. That splurt going. What are we looking at here? Uh, let's go Y. Y. Get like a up a top view. Go side to side. It's really kicking our pet's butt here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna redooming darkness it. Just. I don't think they run though. Never mind. They don't run. I think our pet's gonna win. Holy cow. Okay, well, we gained experience there. Alright. So we'll take this off again. Maybe we'll try a different one this time. Um Renew Bones, like Pack the Shadow, maybe. I don't like doing like high level ones because it drains your HP so hard. Let's see how good Pack the Shadow is. We can do both at the same time, maybe. Come on, spell. I don't need mana right now, so we can uh take our lich off. Let's do this on our pet. We'll see how that does. And then we can like do this maybe. Get our renew bones out maybe if I can find it. I need to organize my spell book. There it is. Do a little bit of both. If it'll pop up in time. Come on now. Probably could have did a little bit of a stronger bond. It's alright though. He's still doing okay. Let's give him one more and then we'll take off and uh, see if we can make that jump. I don't have so on. I had my journey boots on. And uh, wore off. Let's get our, what did we have up? Rest of the dead. Rest of the dead. Alright, let's go. And I'm in the wrong camera view. There we go. Our golem's back too, a fog golem. Uh, let's loot. Got it. Alright, pet sitting. Alright, I just want to try to see if I can figure out how the uh, shortcut works. I probably won't be able to make the jump. I could DMF though, maybe. I think this is like considered an outdoor zone. Oh, people are pulling up there. Alright, so how do you do this? You would really have to get up. You really have to get up on top of there, wouldn't you? Oh, I know what you do. I know what you do. I think you, like, jump on this. Hold on. Eh. I think you kind of jump up here, maybe? I can get up there. You can like almost t almost do it. Hmm. I could see the people over there. Where would you go from here? There's a way to do it. I'm so close. Look, I can see those. Hmm. I'm not sure, y'all. There's definitely a way to do it, though. Come on, Cinny. Hmm. See, I wouldn't think I would make it. They said you could jump. Jump to where? Oh, really? Oh, there's one there, too. Let's just go this way. And I'm stuck in the water. Alright, dumb dumb. Get out of the water. Alright, I think I'm out. Jeez. Alright. Well, I guess we're fighting a vapor golem. Okay. So, first of all, it's dooming darkness. I lost a bunch of health. Got crushed in the back of the head. Vexing Mordania. And 
Demi Lich. And sit. Okay. Well, that was a... It's something like that, y'all. I don't know exactly how it works. But you can definitely somehow... At least you used to be able to. I don't know if it's possible anymore. But you can somehow do that. It's probably a DMF thing. But hey, give it a try. I got stuff respawning. I don't want to mess with it. I want to show you some more of this zone. So let's have the pet follow. And we will head in a little bit further. Alright, so these people... I wonder if Rest of the Dead works on these. I want to see if they're undead. I hope all three don't come. If they do, it's going to be a root party. Only works on undead. Okay, okay. So we can't. Um, they should be green, so I doubt all three are going to come. But it's happened before. Let's just see what happens. I got full mana. Alright, just one. I am walking so slow right now. Alright, we'll vexing Mordania. Just to make sure. And how's our pet going to do here? He's going to do fine. Haze golems are pretty low, it looks like. I think I saw those at the entrance. Pretty sure Haze is the lowest. Then maybe Vapor. Haze, then Vapor, then Fog. Possibly. Look at it. It's already dead. Did nothing to my pet. Haze golem. Alright, let's grab this one. Sorry, people, if I'm grabbing your sh stuff. I just want to get through. Always vexing. There we go. Take a seat. You can mess with the camera for fun. You can see a little better that way. I should probably intensify death. Just to make sure here. There it is. Perfect. Or augment, augment. Augment death. Alright. Let's pull, let's, uh, loot this. Come on. Loot it. Loot it. Alright, to loot the other one. Yeah. Alright, follow me, buddy. Alright, that one's dead? Okay. So we can keep going. Might as well loot it if they're not going to. And then we have another area where it's like a left or a right situation. Same thing at the beginning. After you cross the bridge, you open the gate. There's usually three golems standing there, but those people are killing them. So you got to deal with that. You either got to uh, invis or kill them or something. But um, So when you walk in, there's one directly to the right just standing there. Just one. And then after you cross the bridge, you open the gate. There's three right there. Like You can't even open the gate without them attacking you. Then after that, it's the left or right situation. Left is stables. Right is, I guess I'll call it the temple, where you saw me pulling. And then same thing here. There's golems, three again, and it's a left or right situation. I went left when I made it to the moat, so I'm going to do that again. Pretty sure. And this is kind of like a nice little area where nothing spawns. Like I feel like you could pull, pull to here, if you, but I never see people here. So I think it's just like they're either doing the stables or the temple or they're going to go to the moat and like but in here's the arena. So people sit on top of that and they like bind up there. Then they'll pull from the walkways, which are I guess like up there and like over there and look at that way up there. It's like the third level. But the arena, I'm not even going to open that door because we're going to the moat. There's a little house in here with some enemies. I think they're like gyrating goose. I'll tell my pet to guard and show you. Gyrating goose. I wonder if they're undead, because I haven't seen in here. Let's see if I can rest it. No, I don't even have it up. I meant to augment death. Let's see if I can rest the goo. It's got, like, bones in it, you know? Could be undead. Nope, not undead. So, I don't know what's down there. Is it a door? It's just a table. Hmm. So it's just two goos there. Nothing too crazy. So 
just one little house with a couple goos in it. But if we go this away, and I'm losing lots of HP, so I'm gonna click this off. If we go this away, you start heading towards the moat area. Pretty sure. Got a person over here. I think I saw them here before. Let's go see what they're doing. Just staring at the wall. I don't know. This is the way to the moat. So they were... They were, uh... Fighting over here before. Mean girl. Wow, why'd it punch me? Alright. Back, back, back. Follow, follow, follow. Back, back, back. Follow, follow, follow. Alright. We're just checking stuff out, mean girl. We're not, uh... Encroaching on your grounds. I'm pretty sure this is the moat. Not 100%, but this is where I killed an army behemoth and got got the uh, thing I needed. She's almost dead over there. Let's go see what's up. Uh-oh. I don't know if they're okay or not. Looks like they're uh, almost dead. What's going on? No, I'm casting on her. I don't mean to. Maybe it'll attack me. I don't want to see this person go down if I can help it. No! Well, I tried, y'all. You saw that. Dang, sorry. Sorry, mean. No. That's poopy. Dang, I tried. What else could I have done there, you know? I mean, I could have noticed earlier. You never know, though, with Shaman. Like, they could have... She could have cannied way down. wonder why her pet didn't have its attention. Like, what was going on there? Why were they casting direct damage? I never cast DDs on my Shaman, really. So I don't know what they were doing. But... Sorry. Really sorry. Demi Lich... I guess we'll fart, it, fight it, fart our way around the moat. You want to fart our way around the moat, guys? I think all guys. I don't think any girls watch this. <laughs> Pretty sure. Gems of War, we actually have like 10% female or something, but I think EverQuest is like all... It's a big sausage party, y'all. We got a fog golem, so I'm going to uh, splurt him up. It's going to get harder the further you get in, of course. Should probably intensify death, my pet. Nah, why do I keep saying that? It's augment death. So you just watched a fall golem kill. Like, what levels mean? 50? Hmm. Alright, a fall golem. Maybe they were AFK or something, because they were just kind of standing there. They were casting a DD, though. Probably trying to finish it off. Even with my help, my pet... You see what my pet's doing there. 51, 61, 20, 61, 61, 61. Like, they were going to die for sure if I didn't. And they still did. Like, I feel bad. Up oh, there she is. Let's tell her. Oh, not on. What's their name then? Uh, Emmy. Tell mean. Sorry. I tried. Um. Oh, wow. My battery's running low on my laptop. That could be me. I could be mean right now if my laptop decides to shut off. I didn't have it plugged in. All right, now I do. Uh, so we're probably going to wrap it up pretty soon, y'all. We're at the moat. I'm pretty sure this is called the moat. Um, I'm going to click off Lich so I don't lose any more HP. I'm sure she has a lot of... Uh... Oh, maybe it's not the moat because... Well... Up oh, here it comes. Move. Come on, buddy. Is 
Did she leave? I think she left. She didn't even answer. Hmm. Maybe they're mad at me. Even though, what if I wasn't here at all? You can't get mad at someone that tried to help. Uh, what should I do? I need Vexing Mordania. Got plenty of, um, mana. Let's do Splurt. Help my pet out a little bit here. Then I can Demi Lich. I need, I need to find a cool thumbnail, too. I'm going to have to turn myself into a Spectre and... All that business. Uh, let's see, uh, what do we got? Pact of Shadow. Let's try Shadow Bond this time. We'll help our pet out with some HP. Alright, come on. Come on, Spell. Let's go. Well, a little bit too late. We are getting experience, though. I could sit here and get experience by the moat. Alright, sit down. See, look, Shadow Bond would be... It's going to take way more of my HP. But, you know, how it works. They'll get way more, too. Alright, still had Vexing Mordania for a second, so that was good. Hopefully he's sitting, yeah. <laughs> Stole a two platinum. If they don't want it, I'll take it. I need all the Mun Muns I can get. Alright, we have a golem. Our pet is fine. Ooh, it is like a moat. Look, it goes that way. Alright, let's grab this guy. Dooming Darkness. We can probably just, um... I'll tell the pet to come attack it. And I'm gonna Vexing. Oh, I can't see it. I love that, where you can... You're just, like, one little step below them, and you can't cast on it. So with these Fall Golems that are giving me experience, I'm gonna cast both my dots... Well, three dots, really. Dooming Darkness is like a small dot with a snare. And I'll sit. We can watch. That's pretty cool. Eh, not really. I think the above view is the best. Got the Spectre versus a Fog Golem. It's a pretty even matchup. If I just let them fight each other, I bet you'd be a really close fight. Ball Golem's probably about the same level as my pet. Alright, you need to sit, dude. And since I still have Vexing, I will target you and do this. And then I'm going to sit, too. And we'll work our way around the moat. I'm not trying to make this more than like an hour long, though, so we'll see how far we can get. We'll fart our way around the moat. Seemed like he wasn't gaining HP there for a second. Come on, now. Nah. Alright. Did I ever intensify him? Ooh, what's this? Opal? Ah, it's just a vendor trash. Alright, so here we go. We got uh, a couple of them here. A greater spur bone and a fog golem. So we'll rest this. I don't have it up right now. I need to get it up. We'll rest the one. I need to take Lich off, probably. I don't want to lose more HP. We'll rest this guy. I bet you can get to the moat from the other side, too, huh? So, was he ambivalent? Yes. How can I not see my target? Are you smoking crack? It's right there. Alright, here we go. Dumb. Do you know line of sight is based off their feet? Like, if you can see their feet. I didn't know that till like a year ago. It's a weird way to do it, huh? Vexy Mordania. It's going to be a close fight again, remember? So let's hurry up and splurt. My pet started with, like, less health. Um, I need to Demi-Lich. 
If I have to, I'll get in there and take a couple hits. Um, let's get in here. Let's put up, uh, I'm gonna make sure I got this on. Pretty sure I did, but just in case. I think he's gonna win. Especially if he hits those life taps. I'm just telling him to sit as soon as we can. Sit, buddy. And once this uh, pops up, I'm going to make sure I got it on him. Experience again. I think there's a good zone experience modifier in here as well. It looks like the spawn timer is about... It had to be like 20 minutes or so, huh? Maybe a little bit less, 16 all right, so he's intensified. Let's get the uh, shadow bond. I think it was called Pact of Shadow, Shadow Bond. Cast that on him. He's doing pretty okay, though. It'll pop up in time. Does this work in here? It does! What an idiot! I could have my journeyman boots on that whole time. Forgot it's an outdoor zone. Right, let's do this. On him. And then what else? I'll probably put Rest of the Dead back up. It's going to be fun uh, trying Charm in here. It's not like super hard, but it's just hard enough to where to be fun. Oh wow, that's really chucking away at my HP. I'll take off Lich. I don't need two things doing it at once. Alright, that's fine. 50%. And he's almost full. Alright, let's go. Let's get this greater spur bone. It'll let me see him. There we go. Here he comes. Tell my pet to attack. Uh, I'm not sure how hard these are. It's green. Pet's ripping him a new one. So I'm just going to sit here. Gain all my HP back. I should probably Demi Lich. And then sit. Wow, he's crushing his face in. So greater spur bones aren't shit. They're little wimpy boys. I'm going to sit till Vexing wears off. Because why waste it? And we'll go about ten more minutes or so. We'll just check out the moat. We checked out the stables, the temple. We kind of looked at the arena. I just explained the shortcut. We looked at the entrance. Um, I showed you where I got the strange ochre clay for the candy. It's like basically right where I'm sitting was where I got it. You gotta wait for an army behemoth to spawn. It's like a chance for every golem spawn there is. Like, there's fog, haze, vapor, and then there's army behemoth. He's like a special one. I think he's, he's right here. This is the moat, I think. And if it's not, they spawn here too. Alright, let's go. We'll have our pet, I guess, follow us. We have this guy. And then we have this guy. Ooh, Lord Geosk, what is that? Regards me indifferently. I think he's like a quest guy. Um, this might be kind of difficult. We got two golems. Do they really spawn like that? Is there going to be one spawning in behind me? We got Lord Geosk. Oh, here he comes. I'll just let my pet fight it. Okay... Are you coming? I think he's coming. Alright, there we go. That got rid of one of them. So we won't have to deal with like a bunch of them there. My pet on it. Go vexing. I forget how hard the phantoms are. I think Wraith is the hard one, right? Apparition. A little bit less than that. Alright, I'm going to sit. Phantom. Try to get you guys. 
Well, that's not a good view. This one's kind of stupid. I don't like it. I mean, it's cool sometimes. Hmm. Anyway. Phantom going down. Our pet lost a little bit of health, but not too bad. What's cool about Undead is they don't run, so we don't have to worry about... Probably don't even need to Dooming Darkness them, honestly. It's just to help with the pool. Got experience. Tell the pet to sit. Salute it. Bang. And what are we going to do? We don't need this right now. Um, I almost like the other one better. The one that was a little bit lower. Shadow Bond seemed to take so, so much away. Pact of Shadow was the one. Shadow Compact. Probably don't really need to. Like, it's going to take forever, so I think our pet will be cool. I'll just cast it during the fight or something. We got two fog go we have two golems, so that might be difficult. We know the fog is the higher level. So maybe I root the uh vapor? Guess I am. <laughs> Alright, here comes the fog. Maybe I sh I probably should have did that the other way around. I just think the uh root will stick longer. Alright, get him. Don't let me fall in the water. Alright, I'm gonna do it the other way around this time. Splurt first. Then Vexing. Then I'm on Dooming Darkness, so it doesn't run to its buddy or something. Buddy's rooted anyway, but... It doesn't run somewhere stupid. And then I'm going to Shadow Compact with my pet, just to help him out a little bit. There we go, and I'll sit. Hopefully that's good enough. A little bit of HP coming back in, a little bit of a life tap. They're about even right now. Let's see how it goes. And we win. And the other guy's rooted, so please sit. And let me get you another one of those. So we got a one coming soon. And I'm going to sit so it kind of mitigates a little bit. Hopefully we don't get back spawns. I don't think we would. We're moving just fast enough, probably. Kind of want to just check out the whole moat. We ain't got much time left, though. I know, like, once you see a video over an hour long, people just don't even click on it. I'm probably already into that bad territory. Alright, so our pet. Let's do another one. I just feel like I can control this more than the other one. The other one just feels too much. This helps give him a little bit of regen back while he's sitting. Eh, it's not really doing nothing, though. Hmm. Just a very little bit. Huh. Yeah, I'll renew bones a couple times. Just takes forever to load up. Like, I wish this would, like, make it load. Maybe if it's in first slot. Alright, there it is. Alright, so we got our pet targeted, right? Yes. New bones. I don't like starting a fight. That thing's still rooted, too, by the way. So we're doing all this while that thing's rooted. Clicking, clicking, clicking. Maybe that shaman did say something. I don't have my, uh text windows separated like I do on my shaman. Alright, Vapor Golem. Set it with the Dooming Darkness. There we go. Paralyzing Earth, which can last up to three minutes. Pretty cool. Got this. Do that. You can't even see it yet. Go Vapor Golem. Come on, buddy. There you go. Vapors aren't that hard. He's still coming at me. Alright. I'll sit. 
Pet should be fine. Might renew bones, but I'm gonna wait. Wish I had a better renew bones. I think there is, and I just never got it. It's like a spell you have to buy or do a quest for or something. Maybe I'm not sure. If he's dead, you sit. I hate how you can't use pet commands while you're casting. That's so dumb. Why is I could? It doesn't make sense to me. I feel like you used to be able to do that. Maybe not. Alright, so what is that? I'm kind of scared to go next to this guy, even though we're in, he's indifferent. But here's like the, uh, I don't know, the main castle area, if you will. And then I think this side of the moat's just the same as the other side. Like, go around, you go down, you go through the door, it's the same deal. But yeah, let's, um, let's get a little pick for the, for the gram. I think we're about done here. Get a pick for the gram. Come on over, buddy. Alright, gotta click this off, because it'll tell me it's... Can't do it. Do this. Let's get a pick for the gram, y'all. I want both of those statues in the picture. Come on, pet. You can get closer than that. And let's do one of these moves. So, All right. So, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below. And I will see y'all next time. We will come back here. It's fun. And uh, I think I'm going to charm in here. Maybe we'll go deeper in and just see what we can do like this. But I think charming in here would be really fun. Charm like a wraith or something. Have it fighting against foul golems. Should be cool. Yeah, let me know with your views, with your shares, with your likes, with your comments that you like the Necro more than the Shaman. If it gets more views, I'll do more Necro stuff. If it gets the same old, same old, then I'll probably go back to the Shaman because I can level my Shaman. And uh, my Necro... I don't think we got any experience, really. But, hey, it was all green, a little bit of blue. City of Mist, you can do all the way to 60, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, because I'm 60, and I was getting experience. And the deeper you go, the more blues there's going to be, and stuff like that. So, but yeah, we'll check out the walkways, the top of the arena thing. Um, we'll see what's in this building, maybe. Maybe we'll look at the arena next time. But this one was, like, the entrance, the stables, the temple little area, unless this is the temple. I don't know. The left side, the right side, the moat, that's what we are looking at today. The strange ochre clay for the Candy 2 quest, which I got like right there on the moat. And yeah. See you guys next time. You're the best. Peace out.